The NMS study shown in the bottom pane is somewhat similar in appearance to the NMC studies, though the math is completely different, so the unique qualities of its smoothness without the introduction of lag into the analysis make it ideally suited to perform some additional tasks as well. It can help predict locations where the volatility of the market may be expected to increase, and I've identified this point right here as a place where we see a band pinch from the standard deviation bands, implying we're likely get to get an increase in volatility coming from that. In, a, in addition to that, it can help qualify the integrity of zero hits, which we've discussed when hitting a standard, an opposite standard deviation band at the time of a zero hit and it helps identify overbought and oversold market climates as well at extremes oftentimes. Okay, now that we've explored the NMCs and the NMS, let's take a look at the bounded rainbow studies. Okay, here we see the NST index with combo MA standard study, which also includes the NXC by the way, as well as the NST index combo with MA study on a custom version. By the way, this is a completely new and different method of calculation for the three oscillators, the NST, NXC, and NDX. In addition, you'll note that there's the inclusion of a new ocean-based moving average, which is an amalgamation of information contained by the NST, NDXs, and NXCs within those studies as well, and it can often provide support and resistance. Note that I often refer to these studies as the rainbow studies because of the way they appear on screen. And by the way, I've also included the triple STX shown previously on the price bars as well as once again adding the Ocean Classic Natural Moving Average with SD bands just to show how they interact with one another. These STX, NDX, and NXC rainbow studies provide several benefits. First, they offer a means of adding additional zero-hit counter-trend reaction points via the standard NXC and the new custom NXC calculations. For instance, here's um, a standard version zero-hit. Here's a custom version zero-hit, and we've identified that with the red dots. And here is a similar situation on a cross-kiss coming from the NXC right here on the standard version and right here on the custom version. These then help qualify the zero hits, as we know, that are emanating from the NMC and NMC2 studies. Additionally, these two studies can help define both short-term and long-term overbought and oversold conditions and climates, which, due to the way the math operates, in effect gives you a voting scheme of the degree of overbought or oversold that may be present, depending on whether the fastest NST or medium speed NXC or slow NDX is producing an overbought or oversold. Another powerful benefit of these dual versions of them and the way they appear on screen functioning together is that they help you determine when to stay in a trade a little longer to capture any additional open equity profit potential. That is, as they begin to fan out and maintain their bullish structure just as we have seen with the triple STX in locations like this, all of them remaining above the new ocean-based moving average, the same scenario here. as well as how to determine which of the STX stop mechanisms might be best to employ for various market climates and conditions. That is, as we get to overbought in a case like this, you might choose to employ the very fastest of the STX stops simply because of the overbought condition, uh, whereas under other circumstances the regular might be employed and or even for longer term positions one could utilize the, the slow STX if they wanted to do so. Uh, note also the divergences are quite prevalent with these oscillators and are very helpful at locations like this and this. And we can see in, in an area like this the power of the um, strength of the ocean moving average that's based on them to identify in this location a great support area and in this location right here after we've already crossed through the moving average a great resistance zone as well. Okay. Having looked very briefly at the uh, bounded rainbow studies, let's take a tour of the final remaining tool in the Ocean Pro library, that is the NMA band excursion. All right, this is the NMA band excursion study. And by the way, as I had done previously, I've added the triple STX on the price bars, as well as the Ocean Classic natural moving average with its SD band studies. 
Like many of the other ocean tools, the NMA Band Excursion Study can perform a variety of important analytical roles. It can assist in the qualification of zero hits, though not shown here because we don't have the NMC or NXC studies available to us. In addition to that, it can define both minor, relative, and major absolute overbought and oversold conditions. And I view relative overbought and oversold by virtue of whether or not the oscillator itself is coming down in it below a lower standard deviation while above um, the 50 line, as in cases like this, this, and this, and or absolute overbought or oversold conditions, particularly as an example, this most recent decline that we saw in the Dow Jones where we were below on an absolute basis by virtue of uh, violating the lower zero line as well as clearly the lower standard deviation as well. It also functions well as a tool to help enhance trend identification coming from tools like the BTX studies, that is by virtue of whether it is above or below the 50 line, and we briefly went into a bearish mode here. Note that the location where that crossover occurred was well before worst of the price damage occurred, and it was extremely timely as well in terms of picking up the location where that ended. And we of course had early warning of that via the divergence that was taking place there as well. Speaking of the divergence, um, Another important quality is because we have the center line moving average bisecting the upper and lower standard deviation bands, when you see divergence from this oscillator, often the first crossover of the moving average center line can be indicative of a very early warning and a very safe place to potentially enter the market. An example there, another example here where we get the crossover at or very near the high in price action, another divergence back here, and a crossover of the center line moving average as well. One last point to make about this NMA band excursion study is to identify locations where you're seeing a pinch in the standard deviation bands because this is oftentimes picking up on a market climate where the energy is coiling and a rapid price move is likely to happen. This also happened by the way by virtue of divergence taking place as well so we could see this location where as we broke down below the center line moving average and then came back in, in the last gasp attempt, uh, it found resistance there and that's where our collapse occurred. All right, I think we've got a pretty clear understanding of the NMA band excursion study. Um, so what I'd like to do now is to recap where we've been throughout this introduction. In the expanded Ocean Pro upgrade video series, I hope to demonstrate how essential these new indicators are to an accurate appraisal of market conditions, as well as to demonstrate the simplicity of how they can be interpreted. In my opinion, they increase and enhance the value and usefulness of the original Ocean Classic Library well beyond its original capabilities. I think that these tools should offer dramatic additions and improvements to your trading potential, such as the fact that they provide you with new and highly accurate entry points that may often be different than zero hits, giving you many more trade setup opportunities. Secondly, they offer additional methods to better qualify NMC, NMC2, and NXC zero hits where counter trend terminations are more likely to occur. Third, they can supply you with new stop placement locations and very flexible methods to scale out of positions. They can also give you new and enhanced methods to identify and quantify trend conditions that may be present in the market. Number five, they can provide you better ways to classify and rank overbought and oversold conditions. And they offer you the ability to help hold on to trades for more open equity potential. They also supply you with new ways to identify the underlying volatility of the structure, especially new early warnings of low volatility climates where very rapid price movements are likely to develop. And lastly, they can offer you much of the necessary information to be able to vary your initial bet sizes according to the required risk and probability of positive outcome, as well as the ability to scale into positions as the tools adapt to changing conditions. Of course, there are many other ways to benefit from these tools, and I expect that in addition to what you'll see in this ongoing video series, you will be able to find new and creative ways to assimilate them into your own personal trading styles. By using them along with methods that you already know and trust, I'm sure you'll quickly tailor and customize these new capabilities into your own trading approaches and methods.
Now having seen the power and strength of the tools in isolation here in this brief introduction, just imagine what the combination of all of them brought to bear on a single market, along with the addition of the powerful BTX1 line and BTX2 line trend tools will be like by the time we get to the final comprehensive segment of this video series.